Hey guys, how's it going today? It's, uh, what day is it today? Wednesday, December the 14th, 2011. And, uh, doing this video mainly um, for a request for a couple of you guys. I uh, got a personal message. Oh god, I can't remember your YouTube name for the life of me. I'll stab it in the video somewhere. And a couple comments saying, what do I use for my OBD2 code reader, because a lot of you saw that I connected to Logie's car with my laptop, and you're all like, what the hell? And you're all curious of what I use. So, I'm gonna show you, and I'll show you the program here. I'll just do a screen capture and whatnot, and I'll, I'll show you what I'm gonna do. Anyhow, I'll show you what the device is mainly. It's just one of these guys. It's an ELM327 version 1.5A. I'll uh, put a link in the description as of, to, as of to where I've gotten it from. Mainly, basically all it is, is there's your OBD2 plug, which plugs into the car. There's your USB 2.0 plug, which plugs into your computer. And it just goes into like a serial port and comes out as, uh, as USB. Now, on my Windows 7 machine here, on my Windows 7 machine, when I plugged this in, it installed it as a, uh, what was it, a data bus connector, I think, or something like that. Um, if you have Windows XP and you go to install this, there are drivers you actually do have to install. It won't install it on its own. So anyhow, I've got a car set up outside. I'm going to use Dad's car. And uh, so that's it there. Yeah, and now that cost me, uh, what was it? I think it was about, about $20. I think it was $15 or $20 Canadian. Granted, it came from Hong Kong. So it took like freaking, you know, four weeks to get here. Now, the only trouble I've had with this device so far is that it doesn't want to um, connect to a Ford vehicle. Well, at least Mercury anyways. It won't connect to my car, which is a Mercury. I don't know why. Um, they might have their own separate whole system. I don't know. I've tested GM, Chrysler, Jeep. You know, they all work on them. Oldsmobile, it all worked. Uh, the car I'm going to use right now is a Saturn. So anyways, let me uh, go grab some keys because I totally forgot keys. So let me go grab some keys and I'll show you how this bitch works. Okay guys, I'm sitting out in Dad's car now. Look, you can tell. Freaking Saturn. Yeah, go Saturn, yeah. Anyhow, in Dad's case, the OBD2 plug is just down here. There you go, it's right there. So, you take your plug. I've already got it connected into the computer over here. And as you see on the unit, you see the red power um, LED on there. So you just take the OBD2 plug, run it across. Oh, come on. There we go. Okay. Now I'm going to switch over for some uh, screen capture and hopefully picture in picture if I do this right. Um, you saw that I've got the connector connected to my computer and everything. Now, the program that I use, there's a couple different softwares that it came with, but the one that works the that I find, anyways, that works the best is uh, this one over here, scantool.net for Windows. That's the one that I see that I find works the best. Okay, now once the program opens, you're going to have to turn the key on. The on position. So you're going to have to um, turn the key to the on position as soon as you open the program. Now notice this is display mode 5, 6, and 7 test results not implemented in this version. That is because this version is a free version in order to, if, if you wanted to um, uh, 
use all these other display modes, you have to buy it, and it's like, uh, 45 or 50 bucks, I think, but I'm cheap, and I don't like to buy stuff, so. Now, for the first time, it's probably not going to work right away. You're going to have to come down to options, and you're going to have to set your COM port. Now, in my case, COM port 6 working. The default baud rate is 9600. Crank that up to 384. That seems that works better, and then your system of measurements, metric or US. Now, to find out what COM port you can use, because your computer is going to have COM ports that are already in use by other devices. So you're going to go start my new right click on my computer. You're going to come up and uh, click on device manager. Okay, now you're going to come down. Just under network adapters, you'll see ports, COM and LTP. There you go, COM6. That's the one, that's the reader. And like I said, it is, it just, um, it's a serial converter. That's what it installs it as. Now, you're not going to want to leave this all alone, even though the baud rate on the program is 36 or 3480 or whatever the hell it was. Don't bother cranking this up. Just leave it the way it is. Okay. Now, since that's already all set up, we're going to close all this. And you're going to, if you have the engine light on, you're going to want to, you know, read your codes. There you go. No diagnostic trouble codes found. Now, <clears throat> just to give you an idea, if there were programs, I'll hit the simulate button down here. There you go. It detected 12. Uh, problems in your mill the check engine light is on now it displays all of the, of the problems you know it'll tell them all up here there's there's quite a few in this program you know I haven't I haven't found any like all of them but there's a shitload so anyways sensor data com6 ready device connected and uh, basically this, hold on a minute here, that's going at about 100 mile an hour with all the lights and shit going nuts. Now, I'll start up the car here for you. Okay, so I'm doing some voice overlay here because the audio gets pretty decked. So anyways, I fire up the car here and you can see there that it's reading. Uh, you see all the engine RPMs and the uh, time in advance and the intake pressure and all that all that junk. Uh, absolute throttle position, uh, engine load, etc., etc. As you can see, it's connected to COM port six at the top and the refresh rate and everything. Go to page two and it'll show the uh, intake pressure, coolant temperature. Uh, in page three, we've got your O2 sensors, and OBD2 conforms to California for some reason. Anything after page three, uh, it's pretty useless in the free version because it won't show anything after page three. So basically, your main three pages that you're going to want to, uh, if you want to have anything to look at, is going to be page one, two, and three. And that will show you um, basically all you want to know. Now you can go in and change your US or metric. We'll change it to metric here now. And then it'll change everything over. And instead of saying RPM, it'll say R slash min for revs per minute, kilometers an hour, KPA for the pressure. Personally, I perform PSI. It's a hell of a lot easier to understand. So we'll just change that back now. That's basically how that uh, portion of the program works. All right, so that's basically the video for today. You saw how what I use and how I use it. Like I said, I'll put a description in the in the bottom there for this guy. And uh, if you want, you can uh, you can grab yourself one of these little bad boys. It actually works quite well. I'm I'm very pleased with it. Anyhow, guys, until uh, the next time, take care.